This is Powered by Learning, a podcast designed for learning leaders to hear the latest approaches to creating learning experiences that engage learners and achieve improved performance for individuals and organizations. Powered by Learning is brought to you by DaVinci Interactive. For more than 25 years, DaVinci has provided custom learning solutions to government agencies, corporations, medical education and certification organizations, and educational content providers. We collaborate with our clients to bring order and clarity to content and technology. Learn more at DaVinci.com. Hello and welcome to Powered by Learning. I'm your host, Susan Court, and today I'm joined by DaVinci President Mason Scuderi. Mason and I are attending the Training Industry Conference and Expo in Raleigh, North Carolina. Well, Mason, it's been a great couple of days, busy days, reconnecting with learning leaders in person and hearing about the challenges they're facing in this post-pandemic world and also some of the successes they've enjoyed as well. Yes, Susan, it's great to be back in person. There's a real energy here and a pent-up demand at the conference, I think both from the attendees who are excited to be back in Raleigh and uh, high interest in DaVinci and other learning solution companies that are here at the conference. Oh, I agree. There's definitely a lot of energy here and been good to kind of reconnect with some of our uh, our friends in the industry. So it's it's been a great couple of days. You know, right off the bat when the conference kicked off, I think we heard some pretty impressive trends from training industry CEO Ken Taylor. What were your impressions from, from Ken's insights? Yeah, it was a really exciting keynote um, to kick things off. And uh, Ken and the training industry surveyed over 350 companies, and it was encouraging to hear that a majority of them signaled that they're going to increase their L&D budgets in the coming year. I think support for training programs has never been stronger, and we still need to get executive buy-in and uh, support of our efforts. But it really feels like training and development is being prioritized within organizations, and we have an established seat at the table. You know, it's funny you should mention that because I I think back, um, I started attending this conference, I think six or seven years ago, and the definite outcry back then was, how do we get that seat at the table? And while I know that that's still a need for organizations to get that executive buy-in, it seems like a lot of organizations are sharing that training is being considered early on as, as a way to achieve business goals, that that fight isn't quite as uh, as dire as it was many years ago. So that's that's good that we're seeing that shift. I know also, Mason, that you had the opportunity to attend a lot of the sessions here. What are some of the um, the general trends that you were hearing from the presenters and the attendees? Yeah, great sessions here at the conference. I think uh, overarching themes of using onboarding as a way to engage the workforce, using training to support DEI efforts, creating an inclusive workplace. A focus on employee wellness, leadership effectiveness, and uh, using training for change strategy and managing uncertainty. Yeah, all those, if you think about it, kind of roll up into retention. You know, if you have a, a workforce that feels that it's included and appreciated and that the company or organization is focusing on their well-being and that their skills uh, are being addressed so that there's ways for them to grow professionally and, and personally as well, you, you may retain that workforce longer and not have some of the challenges that so many companies are having. Certainly onboarding was something we're hearing a lot, uh, a lot of organizations uh, struggling with doing differently in a hybrid world and, and also wanting to do better <laughs> so that, uh, again, they're, they're uh, really engaging that workforce uh, from the get-go. You know, there's a lot of talk about what people are dealing with right now, Mason, but of course, a lot of future thinking, next steps and priorities what what have you been hearing from people this week as sort of the the next steps that a lot of organizations are looking to take with their learning and development programs? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know we've all had some experience with the great resignation, and um, I think companies more than ever are seeing training and development as an opportunity to increase retention, to build and provide opportunities for growth and advancement, uh, to increase purpose and meaningful work and to provide recognition and feedback uh, for team members. We're also hearing a lot about establishing leadership development training programs within the organization, aligning training with company goals, the importance of creating engaging content, and then also the use of video to maximize learning impact. Yeah, that's been a big topic is best ways of using video, certainly something we do at DaVinci quite a lot, video and animation that we integrate into, uh, into learning solutions. One of the many technologies that people are talking about, what other um, areas of, of using technology were you hearing people chat about this week? 
Well, there's definitely been a boom in technology platform options post-COVID. Many new solutions are available from learning management systems to learning experience platforms and, and many specialized training platforms as well. So there's more choices than ever, uh, and that's a good thing. Some of the challenges that come with that include, uh, it can be a challenge to find which system is right for your needs. Uh, so it, it's going to take more effort up front to comb through all the options and find the one that's right for you. Uh, there's also the potential for uh, you know some claims that certain technology platforms are making that might be a little exaggerated or you know might be a little bit ahead of uh, being ready for prime time. So I think uh, shop with caution and get out there and check out the options that are available. It's it's really an exciting time and there's never been more options available to us. And I think as always, you know, think about why you want to use technology in your learning. That it's not always um, just putting in the new shiny object and the latest and greatest that. It has to really uh, address your your goals, you know, your your training goals. So, um, just good good advice overall. Any other final takeaways to share? Certainly, there were so many sessions that we went to, and uh, and great conversations with people all week. Absolutely, it's been a great conference. Um, it's been exciting to sit in on some roundtable discussions here at the conference and uh, talk a little bit about some of the challenges with uh, hybrid learning and the shift from instructor led to asynchronous. Also. Uh, how to really effectively use training uh, to make the most of onboarding uh, with your team. And then understanding agile learning principles and how they can help us be uh, more flexible and get more done in a shorter amount of time. Those are great insights, Mason. It's been nice spending the week with you here in Raleigh and the rest of the DaVinci team. And we certainly enjoyed meeting with, uh, I think, what do they say, 450 people attending the conference. So so it was a great week. Absolutely. We uh, look forward to coming back next year. Yeah, for sure. It's uh been a great conference. And I think everybody certainly feels re-energized and uh, that they have some actionable steps to take when they get back to their organization. And I should mention too, that we interviewed some of the attendees for our Powered by Learning podcast, and we're going to share some of their insights in a future episode. So thanks, Mason. Thanks, Susan. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, you can reach out to us on our social channels through our website, davinci.com or by emailing us at poweredbylearning at davinci.com. Powered by Learning is brought to you by DaVinci Interactive. For more than 25 years, DaVinci has provided custom learning solutions to government agencies, corporations, medical education and certification organizations, and educational content providers. We collaborate with our clients to bring order and clarity to content and technology. Learn more at davinci.com.